Ooh. Whoa. Am I there? Are we connected? Ooh. Whoa. <gasps> Excellent. Truly excellent. Now, we may begin. Ooh. First, you must create a vessel. A vessel? Select the head that you prefer. Oh. Oh, wow. This is in depth. Oh. Okay, now that I have time. Hello, everybody. This is your captain speaking, and welcome to Delta Rune. This is a game that is made by Toby Fox, the same guy who created Undertale. And I am really interested in what this is going to do. I had my screen recorder set up so that I could start this recording because I just opened this up and that happened so I had to start recording beforehand so I'm gonna stop recording and then continue recording with better quality I'll see you in a second there we go <clears throat> okay what head should I select who's got a good head here I like I like that head it's a good head select the torso that you prefer these all look exactly the same that one that's the one. Yep, I saw that immediately and thought, yep, that's the one. Select the legacy. This is why. Am I gonna? What is this? What is happening? Am I gonna name it eventually? Ooh, I like those curly toes you got there. You can. I'm gonna take those. This is your body. Okay. Do you accept it? Yeah, I accept that. Excellent. You have created a wonderful form. Thank you. Now, let us shape its mind as your own. Okay. What is its favorite food? Pain. <laughs> its favorite food is pain, everybody. Uh, soft? What is soft food? Sour, salty, pain, cold. Um, sweet. I like sweet food. Your favorite blood, my favorite blood type. Not my blood type, my favorite blood type. You know what, I've always loved the letter B. Absolutely no reason at all, there's literally no reason for that. What color does it like the most? It likes purple! But there's no purple here, so I like cyan, cyan's nice. Wait, I'm wearing blue right now. Oh wait, I'm wearing cyan, because I got Stitch. That's kind of cyan. Please give it a gift. Ooh, kindness, mind, ambition, bravery, or voice. If it has voice, this would be like an entirely different experience. <clears throat> mind. I'm gonna go with mind. Now, keep in mind that I, I, I just heard of this game today. I literally just got a text from my mom like, Hey, did you hear about this game created by the same guy who made Undertale? And I was like, what? So I immediately looked it up and downloaded it. It said in the actual, like, the, the Deltarune.com website, if this is recommended to have finished Undertale first. So, if you haven't watched Undertale, you could watch mine. I won't force you. You could play it. You could watch mine. You could watch somebody else's. Who cares? Just, just find a way to know how the game ends and enjoy it. Do it justice, though, because it's great. So... I forgot what it was called. <laughs> Delta root. Delta root. Mind. Let's give it mind. I think that's all I have to say. How do you feel about your creation? It will not hear. Um, I'm a little scared, but I'm hopeful that this is gonna go well. I know nothing about this. I'm so unbelievably excited. I don't know what this is, and I don't know how I've never heard of it. When did this come out, even? Hang on, I'm gonna check that. So far as I know, he released this game, like, four days ago, so I am extremely happy that I'm doing this right now. Okay, I'm actually gonna be doing a trendsetty thingy. I'm proud of myself, yay. Anyway, hope. I'm hopeful that this is gonna go really well. Have you answered honestly? Yes, yes I have. You acknowledge the possibility of pain and seizure. Of me or of them? Oh yeah, flashing lights, uh, epilepsy warning. Yes, I acknowledge. 
Understood. Name your vessel. Well, I want to call it Kara, because that would be funny. Or Frisk. That's oh, terrifying right now. <clears throat> but I don't want to call it something that already... I'm going to call it... Hang on. Julius. You'll see why in a later video. We called it Julius. And what about the creator? Ooh, your own name. Do I want to put my actual name? Or like, Captain? Like, how important is this to the story? I'm gonna put in Sam, because I love that name. I played a Sam in Shakespeare in Love, and I've loved that name ever since. Sam. Excellent. Okay, so we have to remember, I am Sam, this is Julius. Truly excellent. Sam. Thank you. For your time. No problem. Your answers. Your wonderful creation. Will now be discarded. Wait, why? No! No one can choose who they are in this world. Your name is... What?! Is that Toriel?! Hold on a freaking second. Hang on. So, none of my choices just matter. Chris! Chris! Chris, if you do not wake up, we will be late for school! I will wait outside for you, alright? It's Toriel! Oh, look at me! I'm tall now! I'm not, like, three feet tall! I'm- ooh. <laughs> I got different walk cycles now. Oh, <laughs> this is so cool! The drawer is mostly empty except for a school cross-country shirt with a tear in it. Okay. There are CDs under the bed. Classical, jazz, religious, ska. There's also a game console. It has one normal controller and one knockoff one. Okay. It's a computer desk. There are many boxes under it filled with old books. That sounds n nice. It's a red wagon with a rusty birdcage in it. it. Looks like it's seen quite a few crashes. Why is there a birdcage in it? Your bed. That was exciting. Clothes drawer. <laughs> Window. It's a beautiful day outside. We're not starting that again. Okay. Hey, the cactus. There's not much to say about it. It's, it's, it's a cactus. There are many books. Tales of Snails, a storybook. Snails do not have tails, a scientific refutation. Can snails help your garden? Um, not really. Is that the title? And a signed copy of The History of Humans and Monsters by Gerson Boom. Wait, Gerson? Is that that turtle from the first game? Cool. Also, I'm, I'm clicking on everything because Undertale is all about exploring. And if this is a sequel, or it's, it's not called a sequel, it's not a sequel. It's officially not a sequel, but it's like it, so I'm going to explore. There are crayons in the drawer, the labels have long faded, and there's no green? That's a weirdly specific thing to mention. It's only you. Okay. The door is locked. Well, that was a waste of time. It's really quiet here. Why is it so quiet? That was confusing. Ooh. You looked inside the sink cupboard. There's a can of Ice E's Cool Boys body spray. Spray for the boys. Flamin' hot pizza flavor. It seems to be almost entirely full. I wonder why. <laughs> it's a toilet. Flush it. You know what? Sure. <laughs> you flushed the toilet! Wow! <laughs> On the shower ledge, there's a small container of apple-scented shampoo and a gallon-sized container of pet shampoo. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. Like, how would Toriel, like, bathe? Does she have, like, special exfoliation for her fur? Window? Win window? All right, no window. But da 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 There's a photo on the fridge. It's of you, your mother, and your brother. Brother? There is some white fur stuck in the drain. Yeah. There's some cinnamony batter caked into the stovetop. Wait, am I playing as Kara now? Or Chris, I guess? Cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. <laughs> what do the gingerbread monsters look like? Every monster looks different. It's a trash can. Somehow it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. That sounds like magic to me. 
Witchcraft, that's a very high definition chair. It's... It's Chariel, the beloved living room chair. The chair has a name now, that's amazing. I love this game. It's the TV, doesn't seem to even be plugged in anymore. Huh. Uh, does this chair not matter? That's rude to that chair. It's a book of hymns. Hymns. Chris, there you are. We might still be able to make it. Yeah, sorry, I was really looking around. Chris, it's a beautiful day today, is it not? I hope it stays this way when Azriel visits next week. But I wonder, after the excitement of university, will he still enjoy coming home to this little town? Azriel was in university? Hey, is that Caddy? And Brad, it's Caddy and Braddy and a frogget! Undyne? The bear, ah, oh, the library? Oh my gosh! Toriel became a teacher, yes! And Undyne's a policewoman. Oh, we get new music. Oh, I'm so happy. This is amazing. Ah! How old am I? I'm not moving, by the way. I just kind of went to my classroom without any... Alphys is a teacher! So, does everyone have a... Sup? <clears throat> is your boy. Oh, C Chris, we thought you weren't coming today. We're doing group projects this month, and I'm gonna be left out, aren't I? Uh-huh. So walk around and find a partner, okay? Ah, I get to walk around now. I want to choose Alphys as my partner. What? What am I watching on my phone? No, I want you to be my partner. It's schoolwork, of course. Uh, animated schoolwork. And, uh, hey, Chris, have you chosen a partner yet? I want to choose you. Excuse me. Hey, Chris, what's up? Did you lose your pencil again? Here, you want the candy cane one or the one with lights on it? Huh? You wanna be partners? Um, sorry, Birdly already asked me. But I can ask Mrs. Alphys, Miss Alphys if I can make a group of three. Ask if you're sure. Not yet. Yeah, I'm sure there's someone else you can ask. Who? I'm gonna start, I'm gonna get some better voices. Click, click, tap, tap. Taken. <laughs> that was a thrilling voice. Chris! You know, Jockington and Caddy are always partners! We're the ultimate acad academic duo ever since our first gym class! It was Hula Hoop Day, and they ran out of hoops for us! So she used me instead! That's our origin story! That's great! Hey, is that important? It's a bunch of roses. Ah! The computer's wallpaper is a rotating slideshow of nature images. And rarely an image of two buff superheroes embracing, blushing. How about you? Uh, Chris, let again I see. Hmm, you need a partner? Sorry, I'm already partners with the second smartest student. Though, wait, Chris, now that I think about it, your unique skill set might help a lot on this assignment. Does not! I actually want to get an A! That face, though. Chris! A love resource, Tim, or I have partner! What? What? It's a black and white hard-boiled egg. I get it. Sadly, it seems like it already has a partner. <laughs> Is that Monster Kid? Yo, Chris! Show up earlier next time! I ended up having to partner with Snowy. <laughs> that way he keeps turning to me and saying, Howdy, partner! Like a cowboy. Why? Partner? I already know her! Ha! <laughs> ah! What do you think of that one? Funny, right? No? It's about as funny as my jokes. Well, I got news for you, pal! I already got a partner! Scram! He yells a lot. Alright, um, so I guess my only option is you. You wanna be partners? I forgot what your voice was. Yes. Okay, I'll ask. Miss Alphys, um, is it okay if we have a group of three? <clears throat> hey, what? <laughs> hey, what? No, I don't approve of this, apart. What? But Chris doesn't have a... Noel, what were you saying? She was just saying we're fine being alone! Uh, actually, I just wanted to know if... Noel, can you please speak up?! H hi Susie. <laughs> Got an emo goat here. Mm -hmm. Am I allergic? 
Oh, no, you're fine. We were just, uh, cho choosing partners for the next food project, and, um, Susie, you're with Chris. <clears throat> Great. I was half expecting them to say whatever. Now that everyone's here, I'll write the assignment. <clears throat> While my voice cracks. <clears throat> I'm gonna forget all my voices. I've already forgotten them all. Uh, has anyone seen the chalk? This is the third time it's gone missing, and... Y you know, you, you all know I can't start class without some. How about this? If no one speaks up, everyone gets in trouble. Not specific trouble, just everybody. I'm gonna be very cross with all of you. Uh, anyone? P please? Hey, there might be a box in the supply closet. Miss Office, why don't Susie and I... Good idea, Noelle. Susie, s since you came in last, why don't you get it for me? <clears throat> Whatever. <laughs> I knew they were gonna say that. Jeez. Chill. And c Chris, can you go with her and make sure she um, actually gets it and um, stays out of trouble? Thanks, Chris. See you later. Okay, I want to read this first. Looks like motivational quotes from various literature. Try your best, Astral Wolf, even in your darkest hour. That one seems to be from a video game. Yeah, that's what I thought. <clears throat> Is that right? I hope that's not a reference to something because I don't get references. You took the time. It seemed to be the time for class. That's what it seems to be. Hey, Susie. <clears throat> did you just eat the chalk? Did, did you just eat the chalk? Chris. Didn't see you there. Hey. I'm getting strong Virgil vibes from you. Didn't see anything there just now. Did you? Like, Thomas Sanders, Sanders sides Virgil. I'm getting a lot of vibes from that. <coughs> Ah, I don't yell very often. <clears throat> hmm. You can't even say. Oh, I didn't give you the gift of voice. Whoops. Unless that doesn't matter. Chris. Up. Oh, stop. Back. Back up. Stop. Stop moving. Stop right now. You're very tall. Hey. Let me tell you a secret. No. Oh, jeez! Quiet people piss me off. You think just because you don't say anything, I can tell exactly what you're thinking? You're amazingly strong. It's over. I caught Susie eating all the chalk. This was her last chance. Now she'll finally be expelled. <laughs> Come on, Chris. Don't act shocked. You know it's true. This is some nice music. Everyone's waiting for it. Everyone wants it. So, congrats, Chris. You got me. I'm done for. Just, let me say one little thing. Are you Metaton's kid by any chance? Seems like a waste to get expelled just for having a snack. Oh, no. So, Chris, if I know you're gonna pull the trigger... <laughs> evil cackle. Why don't I just get expelled for, something, for some real carnage? Or you could put me down, and we could walk away from this conversation. Chris, how do you feel? I feel lovely. Holy crap! About losing your face. That was terrifying! Stop it! Hey, they listened. Nah. Chris, you've got a good mother. That was random! It'd be a shame to make her bury your child. I see where you were going with that. Alright, let's get this over with. We'll get more chalk. Mosey back to class. And then, Chris, you'll do our project. How's that sound? I didn't push anything! Don't bother answering. If you haven't gotten it by now, your choices don't matter. Oh. Let's go, freak. Wait. Is that harkening back to the, the, the intro? Do you know something about this being a game? Susie? Also, I know I gave her an extremely low voice, but I don't know, maybe she's trans, maybe she's a baritone. Who knows? I'm just gonna keep going with that because she's terrifying! What if I stand here and look at you for a while? Look at these lovely lockers, aren't they great? I almost got impaled on one of them. Yet the locker is locked. Oh boy. 
The locker's lock is locked. The locker's lock. <laughs> the lock's locker is locked. The locker is covered in jacking jock jack jo jockington memorabilia. What about the second one? The locker's lock's locker is locked. <laughs> I love this game. Are you ready for the Sadie Hawkman's dance? At this dance, all the chaperones were giant hawkheads. That sounds like Stargate. And screech at any students that make contact while dancing. That sounds amazing. I want to be the person in that mask. Hello, demon. I'm gonna go this way. <coughs> Chris, you're just gonna skip school? What, am I supposed to snitch on you? That'd be rich, huh? Nah, I wouldn't. Get back here. Uh, nope. I'm gonna go this way. Chris? What? Wait, oh, what? Realize the baby classroom was better fit for you? I couldn't wrap my hand around that sentence at all. Hey, actually, I just come with you. What? Maybe I'll find a better partner in there. Ha! Nah, actually, let's not. You are no fun. You drink from the water fountain. Everything I can to avoid beating, being with Sadie. <laughs> People put their mouth on that, you know. That's fine. Wrong way, Chris. Wrong way, Chris. Wrong way, Chris. Hang on. <laughs> Okay, it's not doing anything. I thought, I don't know. God, can you walk any slower or what? <laughs> no, I can't, I'm doing this on purpose because I hate you. Nah, I get it. I'm not used to walking around without someone holding your hand. Well, that's just rude. Wait, is this an elementary school? Like, how old are we? I look older than I was, than the, the character in the first game, but you're older than me. So, is it a high school? I don't know. Come on, freak. Uh, no. I will not do that, but I'm doing it anyway. That looks like the area to the true lap. Well, here's the closet. Too bad. We were just starting to have fun. Whoa. Do you not know what's happening? Hey, Chris, is it me? Or is it really dark in there? <clears throat> uh, what's the holdup, Chris? Are you going to go in or what? Look at your face. Face! Oh, you're so creepy! I'm- I didn't do that! Oh, I didn't give them bravery! Fine! If you're gonna be a wimp, then I- What did I give them? What did I give them? I gave them- I gave them- <clears throat> I didn't give them bravery! Huh. Fine! Go in! We'll both go in at the same time! That sounds good! What gift did I give them? I've already forgotten! I'm such a fool! See, why are you so scared? There's nothing in here but old papers. I don't believe you. Let's try to find a light switch. Because that's one word. This is a very thin and long closet. That's weird. I can't find the switch. Guess it's further in. Um, uh, uh, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna... Chris, if you leave me here, I'll... What? What are you gonna do? Uh, I can't rebel against the system. You people are boring. Don't suppose I can... Uh, kind of big for a closet. Huh? Yeah, I was just thinking that. Are we going to Narnia? You'd think we'd have reached the end by now. Yeah, it's like, it's this, it's this wide, and it's like 18 feet long. <clears throat> okay, well, the door is still there, which is a good sign. I did not expect it to be. <clears throat> Hello. Hey, Chris, I think this closet's, uh, broken. Yes, that's the word. Not cursed, it's just broken. There aren't any walls. Wait, what? Since when? Well, we've worked hard enough. If Alphys wants to talk so bad, she can get it herself. Let's split. The door's not gonna be there now, isn't it? Okay, the door's there! Uh, the door's not there. Wh what the? Hey, this isn't funny. Let us out. Let us. That sounds like flowy, and I'm not okay with that. The floor, it's made of paper. Oh, it is. <laughs> that was a weird noise. That was a different perspective. That's a new thing for Toby in these 8 bit games. Did we die? Wow, you do look like Metaton now. 
Where are we? Are we back in the underground? Wait. Oh, that's awesome! That's such a cool effect! Ooh, a save point. At times, you see it flickering, the light only you can see. By second nature, you reach out and... I'm, Sa I'm Sam! It did remember. Oh, that's so cool. Those are the people, those are the things that I chose, aren't they? I chose, um, I chose that face and that body and those legs. This is my human now. This isn't who, wait, is this human a mixture of Chris and S Sa Susie? Susie? Sadie. Susie. Is this, is this human right now, this thing, is it a mixture of both of those people when they fell down here? Oh, I am loving this. I am so excited to play more of this, but for right now, I think I'm going to end the am 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 Bye! <laughs>